Brenda Boss of the Southwest California Synod of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America. This video is part of a series of videos called Treasures of the Heart. And we are talking about money. Jesus' Sermon on the Mount talks about money and about trusting God a lot. And while it's one of the most famous passages in the Bible and one that brings us so much comfort, it's also ugh, challenging and frustrating. And today I want to talk to you about Matthew 6, verses 25 to 26. Jesus says, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat and what you will drink, about your body and what you will wear. Is life not more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow, nor reap, nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? I love that passage. I also hate that passage because I always want to say to Jesus, yeah, if you had my mortgage, you would worry. Yeah, if you were putting kids through college, you wouldn't say those things. If you had lost your job, Jesus, you wouldn't tell me to stop worrying. But the truth is, We've survived every day up to this point. The truth is, God has provided. Most of us can tell stories about times where we thought that God had abandoned us when we felt uh, at, 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 what is the word I want? At, at, at <laughs> drift, <laughs> lost at sea, where we haven't known what we were supposed to do. And we were worried. And God came through. For a lot of us, we have never had quite enough. And yet, God has provided on some levels. Just when we needed it, just when we were at wit's end, something broke through and we had enough. Somebody was kind, we got a new opportunity, we got a tax refund, we got I don't know what, but over and over again, God has given us enough. And yet, if we're honest, many of us worry. Many of us overwork. Many of us uh, skimp. Many of us are perhaps not as generous as we want to be because we're afraid that we don't have enough. I want to invite you today to think about the times that God has provided when you didn't expect, when you had lost hope, when others had told you you were mm, foolish to believe that it was going to be okay. Maybe you can write about that. Maybe you can pray about that. Remember who was there when you realized that you were going to be okay. Remember what the sounds were, what the smells were, what the sights were when you realize that you were going to have enough again. As I'm telling you, as I'm talking about this, I'm thinking about a time uh, that happened to me when I was a young person working right out of college and I didn't have enough money or I had barely enough and I would often spend down to like the last $3 in my checking account. You know, I'd go to the ATM, I'd take out $40 and there'd be three left and I would be despairing, absolutely despairing, even though I was getting paid the next day. I had enough money, right? I had just gotten the $40 out. There was three in the account, so I wasn't going to overdraw. And tomorrow a check was coming. And yet I always felt terrible. So much shame about not having enough, so much fear. And yet the check came every day. I wonder if I still have some of that in my life where I just worry that somehow there's not going to be enough when there always has been. Maybe you have those same experiences. So, as we think about money, pray about money, I want you to think about that at a time when there was enough after you thought there wouldn't be. Maybe God can comfort you now, can encourage you now, can remind you now. God is always faithful. May God bless you.